Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Hi, I'm Baharum Abdul Hamid, and I've been interested to teach on QM5013 quantitative methods. You might be wondering what's the rationale of inclusion of this course in this module. Well, due to the availability of data in Islamic banking and finance discipline, due to the complexity, it has become crucial for you to master the art of analytical ability. So this course will provide you the basic tools, the basic and rudimentary tools in analyzing data from Islamic banking and finance. Well, the course covers rudimentary statistical techniques in analyzing data. It starts with descriptive statistics and then build up various concepts related to data analysis. These include probability, probability distribution, functions, sampling, as well as sampling distribution. Based on these concepts, steps in hypothesis testing are detailed. Various cases in Islamic banking and finance are discussed. This include the means, the proportion, as well as the variance for one as well as two sample hypothesis testing. Finally, the course covers basic approaches in analyzing correlation between variables, especially the variables which are very distinct in Islamic banking and finance. There are three course learning objectives in this. The first is to undertake descriptive analysis of data relevant to Islamic banking and finance. The second, to perform rudimentary approach in making inferences from the data that have been collected. And finally, to communicate these results from the data analysis. So what kind of transferable skills you could expect from this course? Well, you could expect data handling techniques in uh, data available in Islamic banking and finance. You would also be exposed to the scientific approach of hypothesis testing. You would have statistical knowledge, basics, rudimentary, as well as some intermediate statistical knowledge in problem solving as well as critical thinking, especially in the cases of Islamic banking and finance. Well, when you look closely on the mapping of this course learning outcome of this subject to the MIIP learning outcome, we are very closely related to the program learning outcome number two, whereby you should have the ability to apply financial as well as quantitative tools and techniques in problem solving and decision making. So this course would help you, would enable you to apply statistical techniques as well as analytical tools in solving for issues in Islamic banking and finance. Let me walk you through to the lesson plan. In the initial week or the starting week, it will be introduction to basic concepts in quantitative analysis. It discusses the main objectives of quantitative analysis, makes distinction between population and sample, highlights various types of data, and introduces the students to various data sets some real macroeconomic as well as financial data, especially in the cases of Islamic banking and finances, are normally the subject to be mentioned. In the second week, you will be introduced to descriptive and inferential statistics. The lectures included in this week will make distinction between descriptive and inferential and then focuses on various descriptive statistics, both graphical as well as numerical description of the data and their meaning will be discussed in detail. In the following third and fourth week, you will be introduced to understanding of the data generation processes. It will build up your understanding of probability, which is a rudimentary concept in inferential statistics with the aim that the students must be clear of what is called data generation process. Probability as well as probability distribution function will be discussed in detail. And 
Emphasis will be placed on the normal distribution and how it is related to probability. In the continuing fifth and sixth week, sampling as well as sampling distribution will be discussed in detail. We discusses various sampling techniques. The probability distribution of sampling techniques or sampling distribution would be the main core. Here, the emphasis must be given such that there is a proper understanding of sample statistics being a random variable. Week 3 to 6 focus on building the statistical foundation of quantitative analysis for clear understanding of which is crucial for the application of statistics for the analysis of quantitative data, especially in the area of Islamic banking and finance. In week 7, you will be introduced to hypothesis testing and the lecture for this class will detail the steps in the hypothesis testing. Concepts such as test statistics, critical value, p-value, null and alternative hypothesis decision rule and inference will be discussed in detail. From week 8 to 10, test of population parameters where we will be discussing on hypothetical testing for population mean, whether small or big sample, proportion or variance, all cases will be accompanied by examples in Islamic banking and finance. For week 11 to 12, we will be doing comparison between two or more population. And here we will be discussing on hypothesis testing for comparing population means, proportions and variance again, but in the context of two or more population. And we'll be finishing it off in week 13 and 14, discussing about regression. You'll be introduced to what is termed as simple regression. And we will also be discussing what is known as about multiple regression. And these two weeks will introduce method to look on how variables are related by means of regression analysis. We will start with what I said, simple regression, but also known as bivariate regression. And the second class will be on multivariate regression. You should also be able to apply this regression analysis to data in Islamic banking and finance and able to interpret the results. The way the course is built, 30% of the marks will be coming from assignments. And this assignment would be a real hands-on kind of thing where you would be exposed to the data. One, the data will be provided. Two, you would be responsible for your own data and you would be entrusted to do some simple regression on the data and 30 marks will be given to that. While the second part, 70 marks, would be coming from your final examination which would be a comprehensive. And I believe and I strongly believe that this course would at least give you some strong foundation and would be very helpful in your analysis of Islamic banking and finance data. So the main reference book that will be used for this course would be Statistical Techniques in Business and Economics published by McGraw, Hill and Irwin. Uh, the authors are Lynn, Marshall and Warden and there's an edition for 2014. You can use any other additional statistical technique uh, books such as uh, Complete Business Statistics from McGraw-Hill or the one by Anderson Sweeney, Statistics for Business and Economics by Thompson and Southwestern. And I would like to wish you all the best in all your future undertaking. And I really hope that you will really enjoy the course. Thank you.